Okay, everybody, the Seattle 206723 here, and we're going to do a review of the lock, stock, and barrel. Uh, straight rye whiskey, age 16 years old. See if I can get a good focus in on this. This particular bottle comes in at 107 proof at 53.5% alcohol by volume. Um, this bottle right here actually won last year's uh, double in the San Francisco uh, World Spirits uh, competition uh, in San Francisco for the uh, double gold. So in order for you to get a double gold, every uh, judge must agree that this is a um, top flight, top, top notch uh, whiskey. And in the right category, this one right here took the cake. So, it comes in a nice black bottle. Um, I've only had a few drinks of it. It's actually right to about here still in the bottle. Um, but we're going to do this review for you right now. Since it's bottled at that 53% alcohol, it's got a nice little punch that I like. Um, there we go right there. A little keychain or doodad that comes with it that I keep on it. Um, it has a very flavorful gold amber tone color to it. It's definitely got the legs and the oil from the age it's spent in the uh, barrel. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the whiskey. I've got some notes here. Um, lock, stock, and barrel 16-year-old age whiskey is a double distilled from a rare mash bill of 100% rye grain in copper pots still with robust cuts selected by master distillers, unfiltered, then aged in cold weather for 16 years. So it's a non-chill filter, age 16 in American uh, oak barrels, and from a rare mash bill. 100% rye grain. Woo! This one right here already sounds like a good one. I can smell it from here. Okay. On the nose, you're getting that rye, that spiciness, but it's subtle. You know, I can put my nose all the way in it. no problems and dig in there it's 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 subtle um, the distilling and the aging process of this has helped it out tremendously to keep it from being too sharp too pointed and just too over powering for the nose to dive in there and get some of those notes out but I'm getting a little bit of grass grain The rye, the spice, the wood. Pretty much what I expected. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Just to drop, to break up those bonds a little bit. in the methanol. See if I can get it to produce a, a few other notes. So I've done this, like I said, I've tried it before and I've been able to get some other notes and I'm not getting them right now. And I believe it was after the water that I got them. So, oh yeah. It's almost like blackberries. Like a berry... Oh yeah, definitely some sweetness from that berry comes out. Now that spice is coming back up with the wood, the rye, the grass on the palate.
definitely berries sweetness definitely a hint of the grass as it goes mid palate you get the rye overtones of that that sweetness from the berry a little bit of uh, oak spice from the barrel as it starts to finish the finish is definitely long and it's very coating in the mouth feel you definitely get a real good coating feel from the uh, mouth feel you're gonna get that coating um, you're gonna get the um, berries you're gonna get that grass you're gonna get that spice that that taste of spice from the wood just a little bit not a lot um, very very well done very very well done I'm gonna try this again all right grass is a little bit of a standout and it and I like the way it changes first first whiff was of that of that grass a little bit of a uh, and a rye, of course, the grain on the palate. Oh yeah. Oh, this is an elitist whiskey uh, drinkers review. So, almost forgot. Gotta have one of those. So yeah, definitely, definitely. There's uh, like some blueberries in there. Sweetness. Definitely the rye. Definitely the spice from the rye comes up, but you know I'm a rye. But it only comes up maybe even halfway. I'd say about 35%. So it gives you a quick high on my rye. And then it mellows on out with the uh, the grass. It gives you that uh, that that lingering tone of the uh, of the wet barrel spice. Coating the mouth with that sweetness from the blueberries. Um, kind of get like a roastedness back there too on that finish. Um, cherries, yeah. This is definitely a fine uh, whiskey. One one of the best uh, rye whiskeys I've ever purchased. If you find it out there, definitely get it. Um, I'm gonna go over the price point for. I think I bought this for like one, one, one hundred and one or one ten. Is it worth it? Hell yeah. In my opinion, hell yeah. Um, definitely something different. Definitely something with. Uh, you can taste the age because it mellows everything down to a very complex, uh, roasted, sweet, grainy, spicy. Um, oak um, deliverance of a, uh, a whiskey um, they've done an outstanding job with it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a rating point right now I'm gonna give this a 92 out of a hundred that's an A plus in my book so it's definitely worth it if you find it out there for around that price get it an age 16 year old uh, whiskey I think like I said I believe it's I brought this a few months ago so I don't know exactly what the price point was um, I believe it was I know it was no more than 120 bucks so I'm thinking it was like 109 or 18 or something like that before the tax and it was some change so it's definitely been one of the uh, better reviews I've done um, also remember check out other uh, whiskey uh, whiskey reviewers for those who are in the in the whiskey community 
Check out uh, Whiskey in the Six. Check out uh, Scotch Test Dummies. Check out Bub in the Beard. Uh, check out uh, Novak Jenkins. Uh, check out, you know, there's, there's quite a few people out there doing reviews. Oh, yeah, Malton in Montreal. Uh, my man over there in Canada. Whiskey in the Six is in Canada, too, but I had to bring up Montreal especially. Um, see you guys out there. This is Seattle Tool 6723, and I'm out.